हेलो वेलकम टू न्यू सेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स माय सेल्फ शाम गोरे टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बेसिक सर्किट फॉर बायपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांजिस्टर कलेक्टर मॉडुलेशन और वी कैन से दैट इट इज अ सर्किट ऑफ कलेक्टर मॉडुलेटर so let us see the bjt collector modulator generation of amplitude modulation the generation of amplitude modulated wave with the help of modulated circuit and the modulated circuits are classified into the two categories the first one is low level modulation and in low level modulation the amplitude modulated wave is generated with the help of low level modulation and in this case the power level of the modulated wave is low therefore such types of the modulation is known as the low power modulation and the generated amplitude modulated signal is then amplified using a number of linear amplifier circuits and the linear amplifiers are required in order to avoid the any waveforms any waveform distortions which is produced in the modulated circuit for that purpose the linear amplifiers are used similarly the second type of modulation is known as the high level modulation and the high level modulation is used to produce the high power level amplitude modulated wave and here the carrier and modulated signal modulating signal both are amplified first of all at the adequate power level and then the modulation is takes place in the last stage of the transmitter and the highly efficient class c amplifier is used for the high level modulation hence the efficiency of high level modulator is greater than the low level modulation so let us see the high level modulation and this can be achieved with the help of collector modulator circuit that is the bipolar junction transistor collector modulation circuit here this figure first figure shows the bipolar junction transistor collector modulator this is the transistor okay and the carrier signal is applied to the base of the transistor and this is the collector of the transistor which is connected to one tuned circuit and here this is the vcc that is the power supply which is required for the bipolar junction transistor and at the same time here the modulating signal is also given with uh, with the modulate uh, power supply voltage and such types of the transformer is known as the modulation transformer here the transformer is used to mix the two signals that is the modulating signal and the power supply voltage which is required for the transistor okay now high level collector modulator circuit is shown in this figure and here this will be shown at the output of the transmitter okay the class c amplifier is used here 
here this amplifier is class C amplifier and the class C amplifier working of the class C amplifier is in such a way that it can be here this transistor can conduct only for the positive cycle it do not conduct for the negative cycle okay so let us see the operation of this circuit first of all the transistor q1 receive the signal at the base here this is the base of the transistor and the transistor receives the carrier signal at the base and therefore when the carrier signal is received at the base then it will conduct and it will conduct only for the positive half cycle of the carrier signal and thus the collector of the transistor Q1 is output of this transistor is in the form of the pulses that is current pulse is produced at the output when it receives the input at the base of the transistor and here this is shown in this figure here the high power audio amplifier amplifies the modulating signal to power high power level the secondary winding of the modulating transformer T1 is connected in series with the DC supply voltage that is the VCC here this is the um, transformer that is the secondary transformer and here in this secondary transformer the VCC supply and the modulating signal this is the modulating signal and this is the VC supply which is given to the transistor and here in this case the modulating signal can be add with the uh, VCC or uh, it, it is add or subtract with the VCC like this this is the VCC okay and here the modulating signal is add with the VCC therefore the collector of the transistor or the supply voltage for the transistor is like this and during the negative half cycle of modulating signal that signal is subtract from the VCC or it goes to the low level in this way the supply voltage for the transistor is very like this means the supply voltage for the transistor is very in accordance with the amplitude of the modulating signal okay and here the carrier signal is given to the transistor and therefore this amplifier amplifies the input signal that is the carrier signal and that carrier signal amplify in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal okay and therefore the output which is getting here is the amplitude modulated signal in the amplitude modulation what's happen the carrier wave is changed in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal and here this is the modulating signal and modulating signal and VCC will give the supply voltage for the transistor in this way this transistor conducts in such way that the modulating signal okay and therefore here we are getting the output and output is the amplified signal of the carrier wave and the output is like this here these are the current pulses at the tune circuit and here this is the output here this tune circuit will oscillate you know that the function of tune circuit is to produce the oscillations here this is the input of the tune circuit and the output of the tune circuit is like this and this waveform is the amplitude modulated carrier wave because 
the tune circuit will oscillate the signal which is at the input of this tune circuit. So at the output we are getting such types of the output that is the amplitude modulated carrier wave. In this way this modulator produces the amplitude modulated signal and here the modulation it is not possible to obtain the 100% modulation by using this circuit because the reason is that for getting the 100% modulation we need the modulating signal is equal to the supply voltage that is the uh, Vm or Em is equal to the Vcc but here the Vm Em is equal to Vcc is not possible for all times because during the negative half cycle of the modulating signal the modulating signal is subtract from the Vcc therefore the uh, supply for the transistor is decreases or we do not get the EM is equal to VCC. Therefore, 100% modulation is not possible with the help of such circuit. And the advantage of the collector modulator is that other type of the modulation is the base modulator and the collector modulator has the advantage over the base modulator of the better linearity and high efficiency and the higher output per transistor is obtained from the collector modulator. So this is the advantage of the collector modulator. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.